Well, what have you seen on tape of this Michigan offense? McCarthy's really having a heck of a year. Yeah, they are. I think uh, really over the last probably three or four games, it's really kind of started to click a little bit, I think, too. So, you know, I think uh, uh, the quarterback has really got a good grasp of where he wants to go with the ball, and, and his playmakers are making plays. You know, I think they do a good job of designing stuff to get those guys open and uh, and, and get them the ball. You know, the running backs are, are, are good running backs, and they're big up front. So, so they're a big physical Michigan team that their offense is, is playing well right now. I think everybody has an internal drive to succeed, but when you have Nick and you have KJ and they push each other, that does nothing but make both of them better, right? Absolutely. You know, I think competition makes everybody better, you know, and if those guys are competing to make the most plays, then we're going to have to be all right, you know, and, and, it, and, it, and it's, it's kind of, uh, um, it trickles down to everybody else because everybody else wants to, to match that intensity. So I think if, you know, like defensively, you watch our guys. Guys are trying to, to strain to make plays the way they should, and and it's because of those two on the edges making plays and having fun. That it just it just everybody else feeds off that stuff. So they got to continue to do that, and they got a great opportunity and great challenge this week to do so. We talked last week about your pick six against Nebraska to see KJ get in the end zone. Defensive guys don't get those opportunities very often. Yeah. So how cool was that? Just for that was awesome. You know, because. So it's just because at that point in the game, you know, it, it, like that was huge. You know, uh, we were trying to get the ball back, but whatever we needed to do to get the ball back in a good field position, that's what we emphasized. And and, and, and to see the ball, like like one, I think he knocked it out as well. And then two, just the, like there's a lot of good teaching on that play because Yanni thinks he's going to get tackled. He's trying to get the ball so he can <laughs> run it. And then you see two f true freshmen screening guys out without like blindside blocking guys to allow KJ to run down the field. So I mean. It was fun to see that stuff. You know, defense has kind of come on of late. What do you attribute to maybe the, the, the unit playing well here the last few weeks? No, I think, you know, you're, you're, our guys are, are, are showing up making plays a lot of times. You know, I think the things we emphasize, we've gotten better at. Uh, you know, and I think we've got to continue to do that. I think, like, as, as the season has progressed, you've seen KJ and Nick really get uh, settled into that position and, and adapt. You've seen... You know, we've had some, the defensive line has, has been, knock on wood, pretty true. And, and those guys are getting comfortable and know their techniques and everything. And, and you know, on the back end, you see, you know, see uh, like Sanusi and Thieneman and, and, and those guys on the back end can get a little bit more comfortable. But we just need more guys to, to, to continue to feel that way, you know. And uh, I feel like a linebacker, you know, with Yanni kind of running through there, he's got a little bit more comfort in him. But, you know, there's no really secret to success. No, no, there's no new calls. It's, it's the guys just getting comfortable and playing. Defensively, how do you handle an offense that's just so well balanced? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of old school, I think, and, and this is, and these guys, I think they are too. I think the number one thing you got to go in the game is like you have to be able to. Good, good football teams can, are able to run the ball, stop the run, and, and, and cover kicks. You know, and that's something I learned when I was a young coach, and I, and I really believe it. So, I think coming into this game, you know, I think the guys that they really rely on are are, are their two running backs. You know, and. And after that, it's all right. Where, where are the tight ends at? And where's number one? You know, so then you got to figure it out from there. But if we can go in there and try to make them one dimensional, all right, and stop the run, we got we'll have a chance. Just the, just the challenge is going up there, Kevin. Uh, you were up. You've been out there before. You've had two weeks to prepare. They're unbeaten. They got a lot on the line. They, they got a lot going on off the field. Just what do you think you're, you're walking into Saturday night? Oh shoot! It's just, it's, a, it's one of the. It's one of the great places to go play. You know, I think we're going to walk into a team that's, that's hungry. I, I'm sure Coach Harbaugh has been telling them it's us against the world, and they're going to come out swinging, and we have to be able to swing back. I mean, you've got to go in there, and, and, and we ain't going to walk in there scared. You know, we got to walk in there with confidence, which we will, and we're going to go out there and, and, and rock out like we always do. So I, I embrace the elements. This is what you got to do. This is, this is the setting that you're in. This is... These are all the, the, the extracurriculars going on in the outside world. Because at the end of the day, they're going to put the ball down. We've got to show up. How long did it take you to familiarize yourself with the defensive end history here? And I know it's more traditional defenses maybe when those guys played, but mm -hmm. I think you got two that are in line to you know, yeah. add a name to a, a pretty special. I think so. Guys. I think so. Those guys are, <laughs> those guys are, are playing at a high level. You, know, you walk in the front doors of our building, you see it every, every day you know, and with all the great defensive ends that have played here in the past. And, and I think if, if you play that position here and you walk in and you see that, like hopefully you have an internal drive to be on that board someday, you know? So I think those guys kind of have that in their minds right now. And, and uh, like the, the thing that really separates them from a lot of different players is, is, is how much they just love football. And, and that's a, that, to me, that's the key to success in all of recruiting and, and football in general. If you find guys that love to play the game, 
a lot of times they're going to have success. And, and some guys hide it, and, and some guys really show it. And these guys, like you see them out here practicing, they, they have fun. And that, that's what this game is. It's a fun game and, and it allows us, if you, if you play that way, you're going to have a lot of success on that. I think Nick's been so good, people forget how young he is. So mm -hmm. what's his ceiling? I mean, he's got a long way to go still, hey, but he's really good yeah. already. Yeah, and I think, I think, I think Nick is, is in control of what he wants to do. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's the author of his own story, and, and he's going to write that story as he goes about it. But, you know, he's, he's got a skill set. He's got, he's got a certain mentality about him where he wants to be great, and, and he's got a certain swagger about him too where he's going to let you know sometimes, you know. So, mm -hmm. uh, but, again, he is young. This is really his first year of playing football and at this level. You know, he played sparingly last year, but, but uh, to see him, and he's voted captain. I, you know, I think mm -hmm. that, that's, that's the cool thing is people see how he's – done this all attack this off season from winter workouts to spring ball to summer workouts to now where he's at right now and there's no there's no surprise you know like, like everybody asked about Dylan Thienemann like there's no surprise there there's no surprise with Nick there's no surprise with Cage just because how they go about their business and how they work you know and uh, you know I think you know Nick will write his story and, and I, I bet it'll be a good one.